January 2nd. Today we keep the memory of our Holy Father, Seraphim of Sarov. Saint Seraphim was born in the town of Kursk in 1759. From tender childhood he was under the protection of the Most Holy Mother of God, who, when he was nine years old, appeared to him in a vision and through her icon of Kursk, healed him from a grave sickness from which he had not been expected to recover. At the age of 19, he entered the monastery of Sarov, where he amazed all with his obedience, his asceticism and his great humility. In 1780, the saint was stricken with a sickness which he manfully endured for three years until again Our Lady the Theotokos healed him, appearing to him with the apostles Peter and John. He was a tonsured a monk in 1786, being named for the holy hieromater Seraphim, Bishop of Phanarion, whom we celebrate on December 4th, and was ordained deacon a year later. In his unquenchable love for God, he continually added labours to labours, increasing in virtue and prayer with titan strides. Once, during the divine liturgy of Holy and Great Thursday, he was counted worthy of a vision of the Lord Jesus Christ, who appeared encompassed by the heavenly hosts. After this dread vision, he gave himself over to even greater labors. In 1794, Saint Seraphim took up solitary life in a cell in the forest. This period of extreme asceticism lasted some 15 years until 1810. It was at this time that he took upon himself one of the greatest feats of his life. Assailed with despondency and a storm of contrary thoughts raised by the enemy of our salvation, Saint Seraphim passed 1,000 nights in prayer on a rock, continuing in prayer until God gave him complete victory over the enemy. On another occasion, the saint was assaulted by robbers who broke his chest and his head with their blows, leaving him almost dead. Here again he began to recover after another appearance of the Most Holy Mother of God who came to him with the apostles Peter and John and pointing to St. Seraphim, uttered those awesome words, This is one of my kind. In 1810, at the age of 50, weakened with his more than human struggles, St. Seraphim returned to the monastery for the third part of his ascetical labours, in which he lived as a recluse until 1825. For the first five years of his reclusion, he spoke to no one at all, and little is known of this period. After five years, he began receiving visitors little by little, giving counsel and consolation to ailing souls. In 1825, the Mother of God again appeared to the saint and revealed to him that it was pleasing to God that he fully end his reclusion. From this time, the number of people who came to see him grew daily. It was also at the command of the Most Holy Mother of God that he undertook the spiritual direction of the Divevo convent, the convent of the virgins. He healed bodily ailments, he foretold things to come, he brought hardened sinners to repentance and saw clearly the secrets of the heart of those who came to him. Through his utter humility and childlike simplicity, his unrivaled ascetical travails and his angel-like love for God, Saint Seraphim ascended to the holiness and greatness of the ancient God-bearing fathers and became, like Saint Anthony of Egypt, the physician for the whole Russian land.
In all, the Most Holy Mother of God appeared to him twelve times in his life. The last was on Annunciation in 1831 to announce to him that he would soon enter into his rest. The Most Holy Mother of God appeared to him accompanied by twelve virgins, martyrs and monastic saints, also with St. John the Baptist and St. John the Theologian. With a body ailing and broken from innumerable hardships and an unspotted soul shining with the light of heaven, the saint lived less than two years after this appearance, falling asleep in peace on January 2nd, 1833, chanting paschal hymns. On the night of his repose, the righteous Philaret, of the Glinsk Hermitage beheld his soul ascending to heaven in a light. Because of the universal testimony to the singular holiness of his life and the sea of miracles that he performed both in a life and after his death, his veneration quickly spread beyond the boundaries of the Russian Empire to every corner of the earth. Saint Seraphim is celebrated twice in the year, on January 2nd and on July the 19th. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things. Treasure your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and Love Christ from thy youth, O blessed one, and ardently desiring to work for him alone. Thou didst struggle in the wilderness with constant prayer and labor, and having acquired love for Christ with compunction of heart, thou didst prove to be the beloved favorite of the Mother of God. Wherefore we cry to thee, save us by thy prayers, O Seraphim, our Holy Father. The charioteer of Pharaoh was sunk in olden times by Moses' rod, which wrought a mighty wonder when in the cross his form it struck the sea, dividing it in twain. And it led into safety sojourning Israel that fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise. O Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. The good report of thy divine compassion brings us to knock at thy door to ask for thy mercies 
and the healing of all bodies and salvation of all souls, as in life time, O Father, thou didst console countless multitudes, send us not away empty and deprived. Holy Father, serve and pray to God for us. With many years of striving unto blood didst thou acquire the spirit of peace, and thousands around thee have been saved, O Father, seraphim, and taken up to God. Let our little assembly be also saved from the sinful world through thy never-ceasing paternal prayer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy humble soul was as a lowly Bethlehem wherein the Saviour was born. Thine eyes were a Jordan with their cleansing streams of tears that washed away the carnal mind. And thy soul was a Zion, where thou wast crucified to the world, and didst rise again with thy risen Lord. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When griefs rise up on every side, temptations thicken, and affliction increase, and no hope appears, then from quarters that expected comes help to them who cry, O Immaculate Virgin, thou only help of afflicted souls, save thy sinful servants from sufferings. Of the vault of the heavens art thou, Lord Fashioner, so too of the church art thou founder. Do thou establish me in unfeigned love for thee, who art the height of things sought for, and staff of the faithful, O thou only friend of man. O Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. As a practice destroyer of all the foes' treachery, extricate us all from entangling trials, O Seraphim, and never rest from prayer on our behalf in thy goodness, till thou bring us into the kingdom with all the saints. Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. Adding silence to silence and mounting from strength to strength, thou became great in the spirit through thine obedience, through thy humility, through faith and love, cultivated wisely and untiringly through all adversity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both a light unto Russia, and a comfort of all the Church, thou hast also guided the martyrs suffering after thee, a blazing beacon light to all that seek their salvation in the bitter darkness now fallen on all the world. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through thy love for the Virgin, O venerable seraphim, thou wast given fire out of heaven, kindling thy soul's estate with yet more ardent love for thine incarnate Creator, and for her from whom he took flesh to recover us. Into all of the earth, Father seraphim, has thy silence gone forth like a thunderbolt. Astonishing them that hear of the heights thou didst reach in prayer. For thou borest the struggles of stillness courageously, and thy silence was filled with the knowledge of mysteries. Wherefore, when thou camest forth from utter seclusion, though compassed with multitudes, thou in spirit wast with the Lord, whom thou dost pray for them that cry. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O unseen God, a word whom no mind comprehendeth, beyond nature and speech thou wast born of the Father, and again in these last times from the pure virgin not changing what thou wast. To the streams of the Jordan thou comest now to be baptized in the flesh, Thou who in truth hast been well pleased as God to save the race of mankind. I have
hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. With divine love and perfect faith, thou didst put thy hand to the plough and not look back, as a husbandman who toiled to find Christ, the treasure hid within the fields of hope. Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. They who came to thee bound in soul went away delivered and filled with joy and told, and they marveled at the gift in thee, both to know their secrets and to heal their wounds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Daily giving thy will to God, thou didst take all things as from his paternal hand, whether visions, gifts, or deadly blows, giving thanks with joy and never shaken faith. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He on whom angels dare not look, on the same we sinners have set our hopeful gaze, who has bodily endured the cross, saving us by flesh that he received from thee. Wherefore hast thou deprived me and cast me the hapless one far from thy countenance, and the outer darkness has enshrouded and cast its gloom over me. Yet now I beseech thee, do thou convert me and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. Thou hast quelled the rebellion, thou hast shed thy blood in a truceless and flinching fight. Thou hast striven fiercely, seeing peace with the passions is war with God. Thou hast spared no suffering to purify both flesh and spirit. Thou hast fought the good fight of virginity. Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. Though thou sought concealment, hiding thy great exploits and geese from the sight of man, God has made thee famous to the ends of the world, wondrous Seraphim. For the more thou strove with lowly heart to be as nothing, so much more did the Lord make thee glorious. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast sought with persistence, braving every hindrance devised to destroy thy faith. Rivaling the martyrs, thou didst give thyself up to abiding pains when thy head was broken, and all thy frame was cracked with beatings, which deterred thee no whit from thy Godward course. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We confess thee, O Lady, not as having brought forth a prophet or righteous man, but as very mother of the God who created the universe. Show us thy compassion, and in thy kindness boldly pray him to forgive us our sins and to save our souls. Entreaty do I pour forth unto the Lord, and to him do I proclaim all my sorrows. For many woes fill my heart to repletion, and lo, my life unto Hades has now drawn nigh. Like Jonas do I pray to thee, raise me up from corruption, O Lord my God. O Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. Amidst the towering trees where stillness reigned with a sovereign sway, thy pure unwearing prayer ascended as incense with thy voiceless unceasing cries. Holy, 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 O Almighty Lord of Sabaoth. Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. Thou art a light unto monks, an intercessor for all the world, a kind protector of little children, a shepherd unto nuns, teaching all to cry, Holy, 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 God the man befriending Trinity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A mortal wearing our flesh, thou breakst through fallen nature's bones, and thou in trembling and joy didst stand with thy namesakes at God's throne, crying mystically, Holy, holy, holy is the Father, Word and Comforter. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To thy compassionate love I bring my pain and bewilderment, and setting all my hope on thy tender mercies and thy kindness, I cry to thee, save my soul, O Virgin, who professed that God was born of thee. 
Having left the beauty of the world and what is corrupt therein, O saint, thou didst settle in the monastery of sorrow, and having lived there an angelic life, thou wast for many the way unto salvation. Wherefore Christ has glorified thee, O Father Seraphim, and has enriched thee with the gift of healing and miracles. And so we cry to thee, Rejoice, O Seraphim, our Holy Father. Having left thy kindred and friends, and considering riches to be dust, that it settle in the wilderness of sorrow, and having like one bodiless cast down the passions, thou wast deemed worthy to stand with the choirs of angels. Therefore, since thou hast received spiritual understanding, grant unto us, O righteous Father, to chant unto thee with understanding, saying thus, Rejoice, blessed seraphim, heavenly man and earthly angel. Rejoice, imitator of the love of Christ. Rejoice, habitation of the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, great joy of the downcast. Rejoice, source of healing. Rejoice, sweet comfort of the sorrowful. Rejoice, quiet haven of monastics and most wise teacher. Rejoice, praise of the Russian land. Rejoice, O Seraphim, our Holy Father. Rejoice, O Seraphim, our Holy Father. Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon, the fire of the furnace they trampled down while chanting by their faith in the Trinity. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. He who turned Jordan's waters to a river of fire, burning every sin away, and made the fiery furnace to cool the righteous children, turned thy labors and tolls to rest, and plated thy sufferings into a crown. Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. Coming down from the mountain, Moses shed forth a brightness that made the people fear. And thou who had ascended the mount of Christ's commandments, likewise shone while crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now the whole world is tangled in the web and the net of the foe and alien, but since thou hast destroyed them like spiders' webs, O Father, free us so that we might cry out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou, O God and Creator, who wouldst have us to call thee, O Father, in thy love, dost make them to be brethren who reverence thy mother. For through her do we dare to cry, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Let us ever extol and praise the Lord God, who has seen of old on the holy mountain glory, who by the fiery bush revealed the great mystery of the ever-virgin and undefiled maiden unto the prophet Moses. O holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. Like a smith surely smiting on his anvil, thou didst hammer thy thoughts employing Christ's divine name, to make thyself a vessel of the Spirit's grace, which came down upon thee, wondrously transforming thy heart and mind and spirit. Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. Thou becamest the mouth of God the healer, and didst show unto each the way of his salvation, and that which Egypt once possessed in Anthony, thou wast unto Russia, working endless healings, for both the soul and body. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As desiring the unity of all men, thou didst sternly convict all heresy and error, while founding all thy labors on the living rock, holy orthodoxy, truth and love united in Jesus Christ incarnate. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lest my sickness should make my life a burden, lest my numberless sins should turn my light to darkness, 
O Lady, pray the Lord to heal my gloomy soul and my ailing body, that I might extol thee, my ready benefactress. The heavens were astonished and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth made were sore amazed, for God appeared bodily to mankind as very man. And lo, thy womb is proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's height. For this, O Theotokos, the choirs and assemblies of men and angels magnify thy name. Holy Father, seraphim, pray to God for us. The thieves who came to rob thee found naught to take, for thy riches were laid up when neither moth nor rust corrupt. And the very acts of thy poverty they took up to destroy thy life, since thou chose death over self-defense. But heaping blows upon thee, they piled thy riches higher, since thou didst suffer all for Jesus' sake. Holy Father Seraphim, pray to God for us. The fathers of the desert extol their peer, prophets honor their venerable equal in prophetic grace. Angels, Lord, their rival from earth-born man, and with thy weak and erring flock praise our intercessor and saving guide, who, having reached the heavens, does imitate thy master, who bowed them down and came to save the lost. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With joy would we extol thee befittingly, and a thousand nights long sing the praise of thy heroic feats, but accept the little within our means, supplying from thine endless grace healing and salvation of soul to all, since as a loving Father thou lookst on the purpose and not the smallness of the gift received. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The seraphim do tremble with so dismay, and bewilderment seizes the cherubim, as they behold that the fearful gifts not ordained for them are granted to distracted man, who does not take heed, who is not aware. O Lady Mediatress, thou bridge from earth to heaven, beseech thy Son to save us from our sins. The demon stirred up fearful sights, to shake and terrify thy soul, themselves so stricken with terror at thine ascetical greatness, how thou didst rise with titan strides to reach the height from whence they fell, while plucking thousands from their snares, Save also us who revere thee as our seraphic protector. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, in the prayers of his holy and all pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the Holy and alive giving cross of the Lord and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. With the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. At the prayers of our Father among the saints, Seraphim of Sarov, whose repose we celebrate this day. With the prayer of Saint Sylvester, Pope of Rome, and Saint Juliana, the Merciful of Lazarevo. With the prayers of the holy martyrs of Lichfield and all those with them, whose memory we also keep this day. 
May the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. May the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.